29-year-old Sarita native Anthony Burchak is the head of the mixed martial arts program at Northside Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu in Tucson. Really something that I wanted to do to continue to teach and, and you know, bring up the next line and next generation of, of UFC fighters out of Tucson. Keep moving, keep moving. Burchak doesn't just teach students from around the city, but also from under his own roof. My littlest one, Jet Burchak, uh, is just going to turn two and He's already putting his hands up and moving his head and stuff. Burchek has another passion and a full-time job. He's a professional ultimate and MMA fighter. He made the decision to go pro after winning an MMA fight in the back parking lot of a Nogales movie theater. Since that win in 2009, he's 12-2 in MMA and 1-1 one one in the UFC. But he doesn't do it alone. His fiance Mercedes has been in his corner since the beginning. He's evolved quite a bit in the short period of time that he has uh, been fighting. I've actually had the privilege of watching him from the start of his career. If a rookie fighter loses its first two fights, the UFC hands them the pink slip. Anthony was 0-1 going into UFC Fight Night 68 on June 6th in New Orleans. When your job's on the line, there's a lot of stuff that runs through your mind. You know, how am I going to be able to provide for my family? You know, what am I going to do after this if I fail? The Toro, as they call him, did not fail. With his aggression resembling the bull, Anthony knocked out his opponent, Joe Toro, in one minute and 37 seconds. It was a huge upset. Joe Soto still has yet to recover. Anthony Burchak worth the wait. Wow. He didn't even throw a lot on that punch. I kind of just threw it out there to clear the space. Landed right on his chin, and I saw him kind of collapse. Uh, I, I kept having it, you know, ask, was this real life? Was this really happening? And, and once I realized it was real, I was just kind of overcome with emotion. Not only does he knock people out himself, Burchak trains students ages 7 through 18 who want to follow in his footsteps here at this gym. He really welcomes them and he kind of teach, treats them like they're, you know, his nieces or nephews as far as the kids are concerned. But we're very invested in the fight team itself. It really inspires me to, you know, continue to push the boundaries with, with what I can teach, what I can show, and, and how far people realize their own boundaries are, you know, and they, they, they grow that way. Anthony the Toro Burchek will continue to grow the next generation until the bull steps back into the ring for his next fight. Julie Peterson, KM9 on your side.